Welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rembert, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today, I'm bringing you a sequel by Leanne B. Wrights. Um, the name of the book is Virtuous Deception 2, Playing for Keeps. Now, if you remember uh, part one, Michelle, who is, um, she's a private investigator. She receives a call um, about uh, looking into someone's past. When she gets to the appointed meeting at the appointed time, she is um, sitting across from someone who looks exactly like her. Um, they share the same features. So it is at this time that they find out Michelle and Brianna are twins. Now, book one, we find out that um, they were, well, how the twins were raised separately um, and how that became. Uh, book two, they are now dealing with the fact that they are twin sisters um, trying to trying to um, create somewhat of a bond um, and then to deal with their mother, their mother, Sophie. Um, one twin is wanting to get to know her mother. The other twin is very angry because she feels like she's been lied to her entire life. You kind of get it. Um, and so that's the twins. Meanwhile, um, Michelle is now engaged. They have moved Brianna into the house um, because Brianna in book one, if you remember, was kidnapped twice. Okay, so they bring her in to somewhat protect her, but things don't necessarily go the way they're supposed to. Um, and I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to leave any clues. Um, I just want you guys to see this horrific thing that was done that should never occur between twins without consent. I'll put it that way. Uh, and so then going back to Sophie. Sophie, um, who has, she's grieving her husband, I'll say that. But she's running from her past because the um, love of her life, who actually came into her life um, right before the twins were born, or, or before they were conceived, I should say, um, comes back into her life. And so they're reconnecting. However, Sophie's holding a secret. So let me just tell you guys that throughout this book, everybody, everybody is hiding a secret. Um, and, and, you know, it's like, what happens when this secret, either young or old, comes back to haunt you? And in this particular case, when you get to the ending, you see that the past really did come back to haunt Sophie. Now, um, Frank. Frank is on the run with his wife, Lisa. Now, Frank and Lisa, they raised Brianna. Um, and so he's missing Brianna. However, he's trying to keep Lisa safe because for some reason, somebody's trying to kill her. Um, and so they're on the run and you would just be like, it was a little confusing at first. I will say that because Frank is being set up. Um, you, you don't know. Well, if you read book one, you kind of know that he didn't do it. But the authorities are trying to pin this um, attack of Lisa on him. I'm not going to get into that. You have to read it for yourself. And all they go through um, and just know that when you are on the run, you can't trust anybody. Everybody is an enemy. Everybody is out to get you. Um, and that's what I learned from that couple. Now, Javon, who was, who is the ex-fiance of Brianna, remember, Brianna is one of the twins, um, and Javon 
was in a very serious car accident. Now, you're going to find out a secret about Javon that you probably did not see in book one, because I didn't. Um, and you're going to see almost like a transformation. And, but I don't know if I trust it just yet. I'm not sure if I trust the transformation just yet, although there is a medical definition for it. I'm still not too sure, uh, but it, it, it's some, I guess Brianna has accepted it and they're willing to move forward um, for their family, if you will. Uh, so I, I, again, um, let me just forewarn you, the book starts off slow and it may be confusing. It was confusing for me because it had been a while since I read book one um, and I read so much you guys know I read so much so I was a little confused but when I got to that mark and I'm not going to tell you where it was for me but as soon as I got to that defining moment that aha moment in this book I could not put it down I could not put the book down now for that reason, you know, um, there were minor uh, grammatical errors, very minor. Um, and for that, uh, prior to get hitting that defining moment, I probably would not have rated it um, a four. But I will at this point rate this book a four. Um, but I do want to let you know, if you remember Charlie, um, the one thing I will say about this book is we still do not know um, who Charlie is pregnant by. Charlie is still pregnant. So, you know, um, that would be the one thing that I would say. I was just like, okay, you know, we have to, do we really have to wait? But I, I believe, and I could be wrong, or am I, um, that, that we will receive our conclusion um, in the next book. So, there you have it. Virtuous Deception 2 by Leanne B. Wrights. Please go out and support this book. Please go and uh, friend the author. Follow her. Support her. She's a phenomenal author. Let me tell you something. Book one was her first book. Leanne, she hit that out the park. Okay, so please go and encourage this young lady. Um, let me know your thoughts if you've read the book. Let me know um, any of your questions or comments because I would love to be able to um, converse with someone about this book as I do with any book. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. Thank you for all of your support. I could not imagine being here doing this if it weren't for you guys so i thank you so much for your support and if you have not subscribed to the channel please take a moment and do so now um let me know i know i've received a couple of requests about some books that you guys want me to take a look at and i promise to get to them time permitting um as you can see this again is just one um book shelf of I'm looking at three and then you guys know that I have the trunks upstairs and down. So, you know, it, it, it may take me a minute, but I will get there. And I'm so happy that you're along for the journey. So until next time, happy reading and be blessed.